Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what up guys? So, Twin Flames. Let's see. I don't really have much to start with. Um, I mean, as usual, there's a ton of purging happening. Um, and it's very intermittent. I've noticed that like throughout the week there were moments where um, I was great, like on freaking cloud nine. And then all of a sudden things would change <laughs> and I would like get anxious or I'd get angry or just, but it wasn't even just like a, 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 a like just a, a mood swing. It's, it's, it's strong. Like it's a strong change. It's an, an, it's an instantaneous change in the energy. It's, um, uh, a complete contrast, you know, to being, in a higher vibration. Um, and if you are, you know, if you're really getting a hang on um, mastering your energy, you'll definitely feel like this is like, I feel a certain type of way right now when I felt the exact opposite 30 seconds ago and there really is no real reason why this sh I should feel this way other than the fact that you're purging. And for many of us, um, we're starting to really connect with the collective energies and so you will pick up on that. And so, and that's tricky too. And I've noticed that um, a lot of the things that I'm experiencing purge wise um, on behalf of the collective are expressing themselves through my personal situation. So it's hard to pick up whether or not, you know, it's hard to decipher whether or not this is something I'm purging or if this is something I'm purging on behalf of the collective. And keep in mind that we're not just purging for the Twin Flame Collective, we're purging for like the whole human collective right now. Um, and I know that's kind of daunting. There are a lot of people that hear that and are going to be like, oh my God, really? Don't panic. It's fine. We're all in this together. We're all doing this together. Um, so, and honestly, there are millions of Twin Flames out there. So, um, we're good. We're protected. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think... I think that's pretty much it. So I'm doing the normal, you know, the mirror reading um, with the Animal Spirit Guide reading uh, spread after. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind. So it's not necessarily going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and I am available for uh, the personal readings. Yeah. All right, cool. Cool, man, cool. Let's do this. Yay, Twin Flame Collective. Woo! All right. So as usual, mirror reading, Divine Masculine is going to be on the left, Divine Feminine is on the right, and then we're ending with the Animal Spirits, yeah? So let's get into this, guys. Let's settle in, take a deep breath, let's all just connect. Hey, Spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective. Please bring forward the best messages for the Twin Flames for uh, to serve their highest good, yes? Um, please give us an accurate representation of the Divine Masculine Energies represented by the deck on the left and the Divine Feminine Energies represented by the deck on the right. Please show us how they are interacting with each other individually and collectively. Thank you so much, spirit. Woo! Okay. I'm feeling real good today, guys. And it's fabulous. Ew. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just being really silly. So, divine masculine. How are you? Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a struggle, huh? The struggle is real. Sure is. Um, so, guys, keep in mind, this, these messages, this, these readings are not time-sensitive, okay? So, at any moment, you can come across this video, and if it resonates with you at that time, then that's spirit bringing those messages to you. Yes? Also, keep in mind that this is a balance reading. This is a mirror reading. So, this is really focused on the balance, the internal balance of masculine and feminine within, ultimately. Now, yes? Are you going to be able to understand what's going on with your twin? Sure. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So not everything's going to resonate. But it's really more important right now 
to take these videos, at least the videos that I'm doing here with this, this, these mirror readings, take these as a way to understand the internal balance of masculine and feminine energy, okay? Uh, think of it as a way to help relate to your inner feminine if you are if you hold more of the masculine energy and your inner masculine if you hold more of the feminine energy. All right, so, divine masculine. Um, you, you are really starting to get into your feminine energies. Um, and I felt this, I think it was yesterday when I really noticed it, but um, I personally have been very much in my masculine energy lately. Um, and so as a result, the masculine is very much in the feminine energy. Um, so you might be all up in your feelings right now. Divine masculine. Okay, one more shuffle for you. Um, and I, I, I know, I get it. I understand. I feel for you. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. Like, I really don't have that much to say right now, guys. I just kind of want the cards to talk, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so Divine Masculine, your energies are set. Let's get into the Divine Feminine. So like I said, for the Divine Feminine, for the divine, divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, you're very much uh, working with your masculine energies right now. Um, and it's probably pretty new to you as well. Divine Feminine. <laughs> Divine Feminine. One more shuffle. Boop. Okay. All right, so let's get into the cards here, guys. We're starting with the Divine Feminine. One, two, three. Okay. Divine Feminine, your overall energy. We have hmm, the Four of Pentacles. What are you holding on to, Divine Feminine? I'm, I'm getting, what I'm really getting here is that a lot of you, or a lot of the Divine Feminines right now, are really holding on to this relationship for dear life. This connection. Okay. I get it. We've got Strength in Reverse. We've got the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. And we've got the Three of Cups. So, Divine Feminine, there is some third party energy here going on. Now, I'm really getting already that this message is very much for the divine feminines out there that are um, still dealing with karmic partners and you're holding on for dear life. Okay? With strength in reverse, it's like you're afraid to let go because you don't think you'll be strong enough to move on on your own. Um... That's not the case, babe. <laughs> That's really not the case. You've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. So ultimately, this is not serving you materially. Like, there's an end here. There's an ending. Ooh, wow, okay, I'm starting to resonate with this. There is an ending here. Um, that There's something that needs to come to an end. It needed to come to an end for some time, but you are not letting go with the Four of Pentacles because you don't feel like you have the strength or the stability to move on on your own without whatever it is you're releasing, okay? And we've got the Three of Cups here. There's a lot of us, it's, I feel like this is mostly social. But what I'm really getting is that um, this is a third party energy that's kind of getting in the way of your progress. And it looks all shiny and good, and it might be fun, but I'm hearing it's really not serving you. This could be anything, honestly. This could be friendships. This could be relationships. This could be a, a job with the Four of Pentacles. Um, but ultimately, it's not really serving you anymore. And you feel like you're not strong enough to move on on your own. That's not the case, boo. Let's get into the storyline here. We've got, oof, we've got the King of Pentacles. So here, this is the Divine Feminine standing in your masculine power. Okay, and 
Wow. Yeah, let me just see what the next card is before I go any further. We've got the Four of Swords. Okay. All right, cool. So, um, what I'm also getting here now is that the Divine Feminine, you're standing in your masculine power here, and you're looking at your material existence, and you're in this Four of Swords state where you're kind of like just trying to understand things, um, trying to get some a little more clarity before you move forward, because something needs to be released now. There is some part of your physical reality that needs to be released. And um, part of this Four of Swords energy is you, in a sense, building the strength to move forward. Um, but also you're not... I'm really also getting with, this, with strength in reverse, especially with the King of Pentacles upright here, you're not trying to just fly by the seat of your pants. You know, you want to make an educated decision before you move forward. You want to make sure that you're going to be, like, if you, like, say, if you need to, like, leave a job or something, you want to make sure that you're doing it, number one, in the proper way, but number two, so that you have enough support should you be, like, say, out of work for a few weeks. You know what I mean? Like, you're not just trying to cut and run. 11, 11 on the counter. But, um... You, at the same time, you still know that this change needs to be made. Okay. Moving forward, we have the five, yeah, the five of cups in reverse. Um, so you're releasing sorrow over it. And who? Ooh, ooh, we've got the king of wands in reverse. Okay. Some of these things that might need to be released could be connected to your divine masculine. And part of the Four of Pentacles energy was that you didn't want to release this because it may have been like your last connection to your Divine Masculine, possibly. Um, but it's negatively aspected. Like, this is the Three of Cups energy, okay? It's, it's, getting, it's actually getting in the way. And so with the Five of Cups in reverse, with the King of Wands in reverse, you're not crying over this loss anymore. This actually could be a final release of your Divine Masculine in order for the universe to really let what needs to happen happen. Right? But you're not remorseful about it anymore. It's, and it's the release of this Five of Cups energy that has now put you in the state of standing in your King of Pentacles energy and taking some time to really think things through with the Four of Swords before you make your move, before you make your decision. Moving forward, we've got the Page of Wands in reverse with <laughs> the Four of Cups in reverse. That's great. So a lot of you have really disconnected. You've stopped stalking your Divine Masculine you've um, stopped maybe even energetically stalking him, if that's a thing, I'm not sure. Um, but you really pulled your energy back. And I feel like a lot of you, Divine Feminines, a lot of you are... Um, you're no longer up in arms, upset about this offer that was... Uh, of being taken advantage... not taken advantage of, taken for granted with the Four of Cups in reverse here. And with the Page of Swords here, it's like you no longer want to even give that any more thought. You've had enough. It's like, whatever. If, if someone doesn't want to accept my offer, that's fine. I can move on on my own and be, be okay. And if there are the Divine Masters that are getting triggered by that, I mean, I don't mean to trigger and just saying that's... That's the masculine energy coming through in the Divine Feminine. So there's that. <laughs> Finally, we've got, ah, ha, ha. We've got the star divine feminine with the wheel of fortune. Oh, boy. Oh, ho, ho, boy, divine feminine. Like, damn. That's good. That's really good. Especially for those of us um, in the divine feminine collective that really need to let go of something in the material world. The universe is saying you can do it. We understand that things aren't very clear right now. And sure, you may have to plan a little more before you still take your steps, but you can take the steps, okay? Karmic cycles are coming to a close. The wheel is turning in your favor, Divine Feminine, all right? Wishes are coming true. 
healing is coming forward. And this is not just like the a wish in like the Nine of Cups sense. This is ultimate spirituality. This is um, wishes of your higher self. This is soul contracts coming to a close in order for the next period to start. <clears throat> in order for there to be space for the next period to start, yeah? But this is a very good sign, Divine Feminine. And for those those Divine Feminines that are really scared, really feel like you can't do this, really feel like you don't have the strength to move up, move on on your own, to stand on your own even, I mean, you do. The universe is saying, you got this. You can do this. Have faith in yourself. You know, believe in yourself. Believe in what your heart is telling you. Believe in what your spirit, what spirit is guiding you towards. It's all going to be fine. Don't you worry. All right, let's get into the Divine Masculine Energies. Starting off, ooh, we've got the sun in reverse. <laughs> okay, um, there are some Divine Masculines out there that are aware of the fact that your Divine Feminine could be making some moves that could potentially take her further away from you. And you're kind of depressed about it. And if you don't know this physically, you've been feeling like this might be happening. Or at least you've been going through that thought process and that led you to be like, to start thinking about, well, what happens if X, Y, and Z? What happens if she moves away? What about this, that, and the other? Um, and that's kind of like, oh, well, it's depressing. Especially if you're in a position, Divine Masculine, where you've like really cut things out. <laughs> um, but the sun is here still. The sun is still shining. Okay? Ultimately, if your Divine Feminine makes a move that it, on the surface looks like it's going to take her further away from you, it's actually going to bring you guys closer in the end. That's what the sun is saying here. It may be cloudy right now, but the sun, the sun is still shining. And I'm pretty sure you can still feel the heat of the sun through the clouds, even though the light might be blocked a bit by the clouds. But the sun is still here. The sun is the most positive card in the deck, guys. So no matter what comes out in the rest of the spread, when the sun is around, it means that everything is going to be just bad. Ooh, 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 we've got the devil. We also have the eight of swords in reverse. And we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So what's the deal here? I'm going to tell you. Um, the Divine Masculine definitely is feeling the uh, feminine energy. So you're all up in your feelings right now. Um, <clears throat> so when it comes to this situation with the sun here, and you feeling like something's about to happen, and your Divine Feminine is probably going to be further, even further away from you than she already is, um, you have to understand that fear of that is the devil energy. Feeling like you're chained to a certain situation, to a certain outcome, and you can't get out of it. Like, if things have gone so south with your Divine Feminine that you don't know what to do, you could feel like you're now trapped in that and you'll never come out of it. And now the Divine Feminine is making these moves that are taking her further away from you and you don't know what to do. Well, that's just the devil trying to get down and trying to take, get you down and trying to like make you feel bad. Trying to keep you feeling like you're, you're trapped, but you're not with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Ultimately, what's happening right now, Divine Masculine, is you are learning to cut yourself out of these mental prisons, to cut yourself out of these limited beliefs. And the universe is orchestrating this by bringing up certain situations that force you to look at things differently. And we've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse here. What this is telling me is that you, you want to make, move forward. You want to make some sort of offer, but you still feel like you can't because of this devil energy, okay? Okay, let's get into the storyline. We've got the world, excuse me, endings. Cycles coming to a close with, good, the seven of cups in reverse. So this is an ending of the illusions. 
Okay, this is the ending of the unsurety, the options. Seeing that the options that you thought you had at one point were not legit. Or I should say are not legit. And all of the circumstances that had to do with those cycles, thinking that those cycles were, were or I'm sorry, those options and whatnot, all the circumstances surrounding that are coming to a close now. We are closing out this cycle, and that's a good thing. Moving forward, we have the Two of Wands. So needing to make a decision, Divine Masculine. You still need to make this decision. You're not, I mean, you can run and hide from it all you want, but... It's still going to come back because ultimately this is something that we agreed upon in the soul contract before we got here. All right. With. Yeah. The chariot in reverse. Divine masculine. You have to make a decision. You have to. And so that can, I'm going to trans, I'm going to, I'm going to relate that back to the divine feminine. Divine feminine. You have to make a decision too. You got to move forward. Divine Masculine, though, you're still feeling trapped by this devil energy, which is keeping you from making the decision towards what you know you want. The chariot. I mean, this person is, is moving forward real quickly, powerfully, passionately. But what's really happening here, because I was just about to say, um, this person's, the chariot that is being driven is driven by these two horses, a black and a white horse. So this is positive, negative, black, white, yin, yang, up, whatever, right? And these are the emotions. But, Divine Masculine, you are also still in a period where you are coming to terms with your emotions. So you can't really, you don't feel like you really can make a decision right now because you're starting to uh, experience all kinds of things that you didn't allow yourself to experience before, and so you really don't know what to do. <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay. And the universe is not trying to rush you, because ultimately you have cycles that are ending as well with the world here, okay? Moving forward, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's a bit of procrastination, Divine Masculine, with the Empress in reverse. Divine Masculine. You gotta stop procrastinating, bro. I'm also getting with this combination, you're a bit at odds with, with yourself, aren't you? Because there's a lot of feminine energy coming through you right now, and it's illuminating things <laughs> with the sun. It's illuminating things that you didn't really see before. Mainly because you, do, you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't allow yourself to see it. But you know you love your, the Divine Feminine. You know the Divine Feminine loves you. But you're still kind of procrastinating. And I'm picking up some energy of some Divine Masculines are like, well, I don't have to make a decision right now. I mean, she's really not going anywhere. Or at least she's not going far. Oh? Wow. <laughs> My goodness. It's pretty egoic of you. Whatever. Moving forward, <laughs> finally we have the Five of Pentacles mm -hmm. with the Ten of Wands in reverse. So you feel like you're out in the cold, Divine Masculine, but you're not, you're literally, this is what the universe just said, you're refusing to release these burdens. And you're keeping yourself out in the cold because you're refusing to release these burdens. That's no fun. There's a lot of stubborn energy coming through the Divine Masculine right now. And it's okay. You've been dealing with a lot lately. So it's alright. But ultimately, things are going to get better. Um, I'm just I'm just looking over the cards again, seeing if 
there's anything else to pick out. Interesting, we didn't get any mirroring this time. Which kind of makes sense. Because on a collective scale, there's, there, there is a bit of a gap, energetically, between the feminine and the masculine. Um, yeah. All right, that's it. Okay, so let's get into the animal spirits, please. And I thank you all. And let's see what they have to say. Okay, so first card is going to be symbolizing the divine masculine energies at this moment. Whoop, no. One card, please, spirit, for the divine masculine. Here we go. Horse in reverse, okay. Uh, for the divine feminine. There we go. Beaver. Excellent. For the shadow dynamic of the relationship, we have Dolphin. And for the illuminated dynamic, the illuminated dynamic, please, spirit. Hummingbird. Excellent. Okay. Divine Masculine, you are horse. And it is reversed. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Horse. Momentum. Freedom. Expansive energy and force. The horse represents the most masterful of uh, most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable, so supportive, that you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practice. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus, meditation, are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, horse achieves anything and never gives up. When out of balance, horse runs away and feels weak. To bring into balance, one must do some strength training. All right. Um, listen, Divine Masculine. You, what I'm picking up right now for you is that you're starting to deal with um, the gravity of detachment. The Divine Feminine went through this already, and now it's your turn, okay? Um, do not look at this energetic gap that you've been experiencing with, your divine, with the Divine Feminine, and now this potential physical gap or an even greater physical gap, because there's already a lot of disconnect between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in the 3D world. And this is mainly for the collective, the part of the collective that I've been channeling for, okay? Um, and so the Divine Feminine has, has come to terms with detachment for the most part, depending on where you are in your journey, and she realizes that detachment is needed so that old cycles of codependency with the devil here toxicity so that can be healed and we can't heal it for each other we have to do it for ourselves so now divine masculine you are now you're feeling it now you're feeling the gap and now that you're more in your emotions it hurts it hurt us too divine masculine but ultimately you still have the sun here. Even though it's reversed, you still have the sun. Everything's going to be fine. It's actually going to work out better than you think. Okay? But I really feel like, and actually this is the universe coming through saying this as well, Divine Masculine, you have to start working on mastering yourself. You got to start. You, it, it's one thing to like lean on the divine feminine for energetic support. You can always do that. We're always here. But you also have to be able to, to work on your own healing. 
Because you're a healer too. The Divine Feminine is not, is not the only healer in this dynamic. We're both healers. All right? So you got to learn to handle your shit on your own. You can't always turn to the Divine Feminine energetically and be like, can you like do this for me? No, I can't do this for you. You got to do it for yourself, babe. I had to do it for myself, didn't I? The universe literally forced me to do so. Well, now you got to do it. And look, I came out okay, didn't I? Says the Divine Feminine. So, why does that mean you're not going to come out okay? Yeah. Don't worry, Divine Matt. Like, oh God, I just want to, like, honestly, I want to keep, I just want to keep saying to you, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't, I feel the anxiety building. Don't worry. It's okay. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to work out just the way it needs to. Look, I'm going to level with you guys. Early in my journey, there was a moment where I realized that my twin was going elsewhere and I was faced with the fact that I may never see him again. That was the first time I was faced like head on with the fact that I couldn't control what was going on in my life so that I could continue to see him. And let me tell you, I cried for two days. Two days straight, guys. Because I was so terrified. A friend of mine, I was at work one day, and a friend of mine said to me, yo, are you okay? You look really stressed out. Like, it was bad. But then, fast forward to now, and I'm good. Much better than I've ever been, actually. So the Divine Masculine, you can, you will reach that. You will. But also, Divine Masculine, actually, yeah, I want to hold up both of these. You've got to start making some decisions here. Two of Wands, Chariot in Reverse, Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, the Empress in Reverse. You have to stop procrastinating and you have to start making some decisions. And preferably, you might want to start making those decisions before the universe comes in and starts making them for you. And now you're faced with more tower moments. I really think you guys have had enough tower moments for a good while, yeah? You have to start making some decisions. You have to start taking action. And please understand that this is not me as a divine feminine saying, I want you to start taking action. No, this is the universe saying, it's time to move, buddy. It's time to move. Okay. Divine feminine, beaver. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Oh, oh I, was in, <laughs> I was in the wrong section. Okay, here we go. Beaver, 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 beaver. There you are. Here we go. Hard worker, loyal, tireless, family first. The beaver personality is a welcomed sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and expressing it by way of the earth element, providing a home and financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term, steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga, selfless service. When in balance, beaver is happy and, do it in, and does meaningful work. When out of balance, beaver feels useless and worn out. To bring into balance, one must do physical labor or some selfless service. Um, so funny, but as I was reading that card, the definition, the universe was saying, this is more of a reassurance for the divine masculine. <laughs> Cause he's really freaking out guys. <laughs> oh, divine masculine. It's really okay. Look, your divine feminine loves you. Okay. She showed up in your part of the spread. She's reversed. Because you need to make a decision. But she still showed up. She's here. 
She loves you, Divine Masculine, okay? And obviously, if you haven't figured it out by now, especially with some of the shit that's gone on on our journeys for all of us, if you haven't figured out by now that she loves you and nothing is going to change that, then I don't know what rock you've been sleeping under. Now, just because she loves you and she will always love you, no matter what happens, does not mean that she's going to take any shit from you. But, and, and, and vice versa, nor should you take any shit from her. But, we got we to gotta walk our paths, guys. Okay? Beaver is here, symbolizing the divine feminine energy. To reassure you, Divine Masculine, that no matter what is going on in the physical world, please understand your Divine Feminine is down for life. She will continue to work on this, even though you may not be able to physically see her anymore. Until you make the decision to come forward. Because she's not going to come forward. She's done that already. And it, tended to, and it blew up in her face, time and time again. Now... That was all part of the journey. It was necessary. Okay? Ultimately, we all were meant to learn from that. But now the cycle has changed. Now the Divine Feminine is entering more into her masculine power. You, Divine Masculine, are entering more into your feminine power. Okay? But the Divine Feminine is down for life. She wants to be down for life. She does, she, I mean, she wants to settle down. She wants to have a family. She wants to have kids. She wants to have a house with the dogs and the cats or whatever. Whatever that looks like for you. This Ten of Pentacles. This is what the Divine Feminine wants. But she's not getting it in the place that she's in right now. So she's got to move on. And yeah, there is potential that she could, she could have this with somebody else. But that's only if the Divine Masculine chooses not to come forward. So that's why you got to stop procrastinating, bro. The universe is saying this to you. I'm not even I'm not even saying this, you know, this is not me personally speaking. Yes, I'm using I'm saying I I'm I'm, I'm you know, it's coming through me. But this is the universe speaking. This is a channeled message. I'm channeling from the universe right now. And the universe is saying, the Divine Feminine is down. She's family-oriented. Family comes first for her. You, Divine Masculine, are her partner in crime. And she knows that. She recognizes that. And she's doing whatever she has to do to make sure this happens. So you don't have to worry. Okay? Remember that the sun is still shining. Whether upright or not, it still means everything is going to be okay. All right? Okay. Shadow dynamic of the relationship. Dolphin. Hee, <laughs> dolphins. Okay. Excuse me. Innately intelligent, a healer, light, blessings. The gifts of the dolphin, the gifts, excuse me, the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. But these creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming into contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way. When in balance, a uh, dolphin is an active healer and is a strong, has a strong spiritual practice. My goodness, I can't talk. When out of balance, the dolphin is, uh, underestimates their own power. To bring into balance, one must communicate with like-minded spirits. So this is the shadow dynamic because ultimately there are things that are starting to happen that are blessings in disguise. Yeah. The sun is shining. Finally, for the illuminated dynamic, we have hummingbird. So pretty. So pretty. And there are rainbows again, guys. So those of us that are resonating with rainbows as symbols, boop, there you go. 
Hummingbird, positive, enthusiastic, and spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides an endless well of energy and positivity. The hummingbird's secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar, and it returns to these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. This sacred elixir springs from many sources, but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird, and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet, every moment worth savoring. When in balance, hummingbird is smart, curious, and loves to learn. When out of balance, hummingbird is pushy, insistent, and sharp. To bring into balance, one must take a class. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, one more message, I'm being told, from the Crystal Mandala deck. You got it, universe. So I also, since we're doing this, um, I want to, this is a chance, I'm going to make this into a chance to uh, bring some crystals into the situation. So along with the messages that are coming through, I would also ask the universe to give us some crystals we can work on or work with, yes? They just said, absolutely, you will do that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I love the universe. Um, and the sun is coming through here. Look, oh, my God, I just realized it. I'm sitting here watching the sun shine more and more on these cards, and what was I talking about this whole time? Divine Masculine, the sun is shining. Look, it's literally shining on the cards right now. <laughs> and it's been coming through more and more because just because the sun is moving, you know, in that place in the sky. But, dude! Okay. You know what the universe just said? This is your aspect of mirroring, guys. Because there really wasn't any mirroring that came out in the cards here. But now the universe is mirroring this reading for all of us. Why? Because the sun is shining in the cards, and now the sun is shining on the cards. Boop! There it is, guys. <laughs> okay, so two messages. Both are going to be crystals that we can heal with, but also the universe wants to bring some more messages forward. So, two messages. There we are. There we are. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's fine. We've got Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny, card number 42. Boop. And then we also have card number 32, interesting, Ascended Master Buddha, hey, hey Buddha, what's up? And Peridot, Wild Compassion. All right, so I'm just going to go straight to the book for these. First card is card number 42. Crossroad of Destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the Crossroad of Destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, Lord. Or you may not realize the impact that an apparently an insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It's, it is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. Yeah, guys. Uh-huh. Let me just read through this some more. Okay, we're good. So the next card is going to be card number 32, Wild Compassion. We got 42 and we got 32. I love that. I love it. <laughs> All right. Card number 32, Wild Compassion. We bring you the blessing of Wild Compassion. What if a restriction now could prepare you to receive greater freedom in the not-too-distant future and to be able to appreciate, enjoy, and fully receive that freedom? Huh. 
What if growing pains now would strengthen you to be ready to receive a life-changing opportunity headed your way? Huh. What if rest and time to just be at this moment would help you build up your reserves of vital energy for a time in the future when you'll be asked to step up, perhaps to lead or use your energy in some way to support many? Huh. Wild compassion is at work in your life, and you can trust that it knows what you need and when, and will deliver it with unsurpassed grace. Yeah, guys. Okay. Oh, I want to read this paragraph. The best way to respond to wild compassion is to allow yourself to be wild, too. This means not being afraid to let go of the script of your life, to think on your feet, or even better, to let your instincts move your feet and not think so much at all, to let yourself intuitively respond to life as though you were, a dance, as though you were in a dance together rather than a boxing match. <laughs> you don't have to duck and weave to avoid what life sends your way. You can play, engage, be curious, sometimes feel pain, but always understand that the pain, because sometimes pain is an unavoidable part of life, is part of the healing the divine is sending your way. It is not out of cruelty. Sometimes the pain of letting go, oh, sorry, sometimes the pain of letting something go now saves you from the agony of having what is not meant for you, causing you far greater suffering over the long term. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> there it is, guys. Um, I want to hold these up one more time so you can see them. Because I wasn't holding them while I was reading the definitions. Look, it's in the sun, guys. Yay, sunlight. Hee, hee, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> so there you have it, kids. That's your reading for now. Um, take my glasses off. Hi! Um, <laughs> Divine Masculine, don't worry. Stop worrying. But you gotta start making moves. And Divine Feminine, you gotta start making moves too. Don't fe uh, Screw all this fear. You got it. You came this far. The universe is not misleading you, okay? The universe is not derailing you. I know some of you feel like you're you're confused. A lot of the Divine Feminines right now that are resonating with this message, you're a little confused because you don't understand why you would need to let this go. I mean, it, whatever this symbolizes for you, you're not quite sure. I mean, to, to a certain extent, you do get it. But at the same time, you're like unsure about what's going to happen. Don't worry about that. The universe is guiding you this way anyway. So ultimately, like I said before, you came this far and you're still walking the path. So... You can only go up from here. Okay? Um, that's it. Okay. That's it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you guys in our next conversation. Yeah. See you soon. Bye.